I've got one word and three syllables. Delicious. Get ready to take you on a family tradition. But don't tell no one. All right, roadies, welcome back to the channel. If it's your first time here, welcome. Many thanks for being here. Today's great adventure brings us to Parksdale in Plant City, Florida. We're between Lakeland and Tampa. And Parksdale is a farmer's market. It's been here since 1969. And it's a family tradition because the first lady and I, when we started dating, she suggested we come here and we came here and I fell in love with the place. Been coming here ever since then. So we're gonna show you the best strawberry shake you'll ever have and the best shortcake you'll ever have. No doubt. And I'm not being paid by Parksdale to say this. This is my opinion and I believe it. I'm gonna show you. Let's go enjoy. And here is the front of the building. We're right off the road. We're off Baker Road in Plant City. And then the sign right over there says open seven days a week, nine to six. Shortcake is here and I'm here to get it. Let's do it. There are the prices right there. And we're inside getting ready to order. Check it out. Can I have one more strawberry? One more After you order, there's also a farmer's market over here. We'll check that out after too. There's a couple things that I really like. All right, so we normally order a number one, which is that delicious looking shortcake we're fixing to devour. That's $5. And a number five, which is a strawberry short, which is a strawberry shake which is three dollars which is delicious i am telling you the best you'll get ever mark my words right alex yes all right let me tell you something two two different presents have come here i'm gonna show you around when we walk around but let me tell you how good this is that's how good it is parksdale plant city Check it out. We got people coming from across the world here to eat strawberries at Parksdale. Right here is a little history behind the Parksdale farm, farm market, farmer's market. They have a really nice setup here, really nice place to eat. A lot of vegetation, pretty flowers. Also, like you show off the United States map they got too, as you see, lots of people coming down to Plant City. There you go. President George H.W., excuse me, George W. Bush, Governor Jeb Bush, ate here in 2000. And speaking of George H.W. Bush, there he is eating with the founder of Parksdale. And there we have Senator McCain stop by for a visit here at Parksdale. And then there's the founder of Parksdale, Robert Roy Park. October 19, October 1920, October 18, 1920, June 5th, 2008. He passed on to his children, who I showed you earlier, who also passed away. Now, grandchildren are taking over the business. And here is the outdoor eating area. And all kinds of trinkets for sale as well. Very nice and serene. Really neat place to be. And Governor Scott popped in here. At the time he's governor, now he's the senator. And looky here, President Obama paid a visit also. So you had three presidents, a couple senators, governors. I'm telling you, this place is a really good place to come. Best strawberry shortcake you'll ever get. Park sale, average of 17,500 strawberry plants per acre. They serve our famous 
Strawberry milkshakes, which I just had. Delicious. And we are definitely, definitely in strawberry country here in Plant City. Very good place to grow crops here in Hillsborough County, Plant City. Here we have Prince Cameron, the strawberry prince of Plant City. <laughs> and this year, 2022, Strawberry Festival here in Plant City is from March 3rd to March 20 to March 13th, 2022. You know who's supplying the strawberries. Almost done. I gotta say, if you're ever in Plant City, you gotta stop by here. Jump off I-4. It's about less than five minutes from I-4 and you'll have the best strawberry shake and best strawberry shortcake you'll ever have. It's presidential approved across the aisle. Parksdale, Plant City, Florida. So it's a farmer's market, great food, assortment of plants. And you got an Alex right there and these beautiful plants and flowers and trees you can plant looks like banana trees so i don't have much of a green thumb but i do appreciate it a lot beautiful greenery cac cactus they had poinsettias in the front i mean they got everything here it's very very nice very serene and i like that look at all this beautiful Fruits and vegetables. Love the color, greenery, pretty bright colors. Place is good, fresh. Want some fresh fruit, fresh produce, vegetables? I'm telling you, this is the place to come. And over there, where you purchase your strawberry shortcake. All right, we're gonna see what we brought in here on our haul from Parksdale. This is not gonna last very long, the strawberry bread. We got some strawberries. This too won't last long. Strawberry cookies, those are phenomenal. And some strawberry onions. And I got two little brownies right here. Say hi. I have mm -hmm. a friend too. Oh, who's that? His name is X. X. I mean, Hammer. All right, we're gonna sign off from Parksdale and see where we go next. All right, after leaving Parksdale, we went to the Robert Williford Railroad Museum, uh, just down the road. Um, this museum depot was built in 1909 uh, in Plant City. Plant City was founded in 1865. And there you see the train station stop across there. And there you see the plaque, talk about the facts of Plant City. Cameron's now walking up the steps to one of the caboose trains uh, that you can explore while you're here at the museum. And there's Cameron looking, waving. The museum, unfortunately, was closed. Uh, not open yet. It's open from 12 to 4. Closed on Sunday and Monday. And there is a locomotive, another uh, exhibit you can see outside the museum. And there's Cameron Waven. Don't forget to subscribe, comment, and like.